Yes. Nice. Oh. oh. It only took two days. Oh my god. Hello everyone, my name is Operator and in this video I will show you everything you need to know about the new mod Decent that came out in year 5. Decent is a simulation mod that reminds me of survival and resistance from division 1. As you start with low gear till you maximize it and you are facing unlimited waves of ads. And it has weekly projects that will give you XP and many caches once you complete it. If you open your map, you can find the Decent entrance in the settlement southeast of the map or beside the outhouse. You can play solo or with a group of friends or matchmaking. Once you spawn, you will be able to choose your first weapon and your first skill. If you press I, you will see your loadout with the weapon and the skill you choose. Unlike Division 1 Survival, we don't have any gear, but we have 6 slots for red, blue and yellow talents. Also we can increase the red, blue or yellow cores and the new thing in this mode that we have 3 slots for 3 exotic talents. And you can have a random starting talent by purchasing it from the table outside. Each loop has 4 encounters and 1 arena. Before you start the encounter, make sure you have full ammo, then check whose name to open the door. As you can see, I chose my name to open the door, and next turn will be a different player. We have 4 different types of encounters, hard, medium, easy, and random boss. The colors you see means the talents that you will get after clearing the encounter. And make sure you choose your talent before the timer runs out. If you didn't get the talent you are looking for, you can reroll the talents with 250. And you can choose the same talent more than one time and upgrade it to higher tiers with higher benefits. Or you can skip the choice and refund 250 again. Using the decent currency, you can unlock 3 more talent slots for each color. Or unlocking extra weapon or skill choice. Or you can increase your ammo, armor kits, or grenades. The NSA tech can be used in the outside table to upgrade your initial stats, and you can get it only from random posts or from arena. Next thing we will talk about is the Nemesis Heat. We need to reach 100% to fight the main posts of the simulation. Each difficulty gives us different Nemesis Heat. For example, Easy gives us 6%, Medium gives us 4%, Hard gives us 3%. Some encounters have special modifiers like Electric Hazard, EMP, or Chem Vapor. Don't stay near to the highlighted doors where the ads will come from, because sometimes they will have a surprise for you. It's me, Mario! Run. If you want to stay near doors, so use foam, it will help you in crowd control, or use decoy, and it will give you a chance to fall back. Don't stay near anything that can be exploded, because you will take a lot of damage if anyone shoots it. Don't do it! Don't do it! Each player has one revive token, same like rate. If one player falls down, the other player can revive him without losing his token. If a player is totally down or unconscious, getting him up will make you lose your revive token. But don't worry, you can buy it back from a supply station, but it will cost you 500. The easy way is just to leave him down and clear the ads. Once the encounter is done, he will come back without losing the tokens or the 500. Another one. Switch to pistols and buy shock ammo. It will be useful in hard situation and against bosses. After finishing 4 encounters, you will get one random arena with named the boss and the exotic console may be activated and you can get your exotic talent. We can have up to 3 exotic talents. Imagine playing with LMG that has Lady Death, Pestilence and Sweet Dream talents all together. Interesting.
Be careful from the screen as it called wine testing lab. After clearing the arena, we went to get our exotic talent. But suddenly, we had another wave of enemies without noticing, and they killed us and we wiped. What the hell? So we went back and found something interesting. It is the only arena with open door. I'm not sure if it's bugged or this is how it works. If anyone or any enemy pass the door, it will bring another wave of enemies like it's a totally fresh encounter. But the good news is that we can get another exotic talent and currency again. After reaching 100%, it's time for the Nemesis. You can do it! It says, wait for everyone to enter in 700 meters away. Is it bugged? <laughs> mm. First time. <laughs> Another one. Okay, for a second it said and uh, wait for everyone to enter and 0 0.7 kilometers of the Not the day. It said oh, for him. No, it said get ready. But... Let's kill him properly this time. Tile restore hive detected. Bro, oh, actually it's both the trap detected. Like three deltas? Oh four. finally we can fight the deltas. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Is that is that is nice, 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 nice. Okay. No resurrections this time. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> Second one done. Yes. Oh. Is that nice. <laughs> Rest in pieces. After defeating the Nemesis, you have two options: leave or continue. If you choose to continue, you will get better weapons, but harder ads and more waves. So be ready for the challenge. It's fun mode to play with friends. I advise you to try it. One last thing you need to know. Same like countdown, if you got disconnected, you will not be able to rejoin the session, but you will get your XP and loot. Sync your weapons, skills, and talents according to your playstyle. And tell me in comments if you like to play in close quarters, same like me, or you like to play safely from cover. And I would like to thank my friend Santi, Walid, and Espada for the time they spent with me figuring out everything in this mood. And if you like my content, Please don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. Feel free to join our Discord if you want to be part of the coming videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.